let's look at what a matrix is. All right, now a matrix is going to be a rectangle arrangement of numbers in rows and columns. Now, in this matrix, all the numbers are known as an element, and an element is each item in a matrix. So, written in black, this is a matrix, okay? Now, your rows are just like in Excel spreadsheets that you do in your computer classes and stuff like that. A row goes across this way. So, four and three are in the same row. Six and two are in the same row. So is one and negative four. They're in a row. So this has three rows. Columns go up and down. Okay, so this one has two columns. I have four, six, one in a column, and three, two, negative four in a column. Now an element is the individual item. So like negative four is an element. Two is an element. Three is an element. Uh, four is an element. Six is an element. One's an element. So it's each individual thing is what an element is. With these matrices, we can actually add, subtract, and multiply using them. So when I'm adding matrices, meaning two or more, you're going to add matrices that are the same size, meaning they have the same number of rows, same number of columns, by adding the corresponding elements. It's very, very easy. So if I have this matrix plus this matrix, what I'm going to do is take negative 5 and 3. They're in the same spot in each matrix. So I'm going to add those together. So negative 5 plus negative 3. The 2.7 and the negative 3.9 are in the same spot. So I add those two together. The 7 and the negative 4 are in the same spot, and I add them. And the th negative 3 and the 2 are in the same spot, and I add them. Notice, when we are writing matrices, we have brackets around the whole entire matrix. Now, if you don't have the brackets, then it's not really written as a matrix. Now, now that I've brought them together, I do negative 5 plus negative 3. That's where I get my negative 8. My 2.7 plus negative 3.9, that's where I get a negative 1.2. And my 7 plus negative 4, that's where I get 3. And my negative 3 plus 2 is where I get a negative 1. Now this new matrix right here is our answer. So we have several right here that is actually our answer. So this matrix is the addition of these two matrices. Now when we are subtracting, it's the same way, except I subtract instead of add it. So I have these two matrices that I'd like to find the difference between. So I'm going to do negative 5 minus, or negative 3 minus negative 5. So right here, that's going to be 2. Then do 4 minus 6, that's negative 2. 0 minus 9, that's negative 9. And negative 1 minus negative 4 is going to be a positive 3. This new matrix is the subtraction, the difference between these two matrices. Notice how I do it in the corresponding, each corresponding place, I subtract the numbers to find my new matrix. And I've got to put this new matrix in brackets. Now, you can also multiply a matrix by a number. And what we do is it's called scalar multiplication, where you multiply the elements in a matrix by a number called a scalar. Now, in this one, this 3 would be our scalar in this, um, in this problem. So what I'm going to do is use the distributive property to actually solve this. Every element in here is going to get multiplied by 3. So you're going to do 3 times 4, 3 times negative 1.5, 3 times 1 half, and 3 times negative 6. So when I do 3 times 4, I get 12. 3 times 1 half, I get 1.5. 3 times negative 1.5, I get negative 4.5. And 3 times negative 6, I get negative 18. Notice this matrix and this matrix are the same size. So your answer should still be the same size as your problem. And notice also I have brackets written around my new matrix. All right, now let's look at some problems that you'll be asked to solve. So if I give you two matrices, here's A, here's B, notice they are exactly the same size. 
The first problem, I want to add these two matrix together. So I do 3 plus 5, and you get 8. 7 plus 0 is 7. 1 plus negative 8 is negative 7. Then I go 2 plus 6 is 8. Negative 4 plus 2 is 2. 9 plus 2 is 11. Notice these two sizes of matrices are the same size as my answer right here. And I have to write this whole matrix out for it to be correct. And I have to get everything in that matrix, all the numbers correct, for my answer to be correct. Now this second time it wants us to actually multiply by a scalar of 5 into the A matrix. Remember you just multiply everything in that A matrix by 5. So I do 5 times 3, which is 15. 5 times 7, which is 35. 5 times 1, which is 5. 5 times 2, which is 10. 5 times negative 4, which is negative 20. And 5 times 9, which is 45. And here is my new matrix for my answer. Now you'll also get into some of them where you get a little bit trickier when they ask you to do multiple operations with matrices. So here's my A and here's my B. They're two by two matrix. So I want to find two times A, then subtract matrix B. The first step I need to do is I need to do two times the matrix A. So this is my first step. I do two times the matrix A, so I do two times 4, which is 8, 2 times negative 2, which is negative 4, 2 times 8, which is 16, and 2 times 6, which is 12. So this is my new matrix that I'm using now. 2 times A is right here. So I take this matrix I've just gotten, take it down here, notice I just transferred those numbers down here. Now I'm going to subtract this B matrix. So I do subtract, rewrite the B matrix. Now I do 8 minus negative 5, which is 13. Negative 4 minus 12, which is negative 16. 16 minus 0, which is 16. And 12 minus 3, which is 9. Now, the answer to this whole thing is going to be this last one, this matrix down here. And notice, all my matrices are the same size, a 2 by 2. And my answer is in brackets, and it is also a 2 by 2 matrix.